I don't know if you've heard the story about Mark Zuckerberg and how he attempted to buy Snapchat, but he made them an insanely crazy good offer and they turned it down because they believed in their platform and what it was worth and it's still around today and it's still relevant today. But after that, Mark Zuckerberg went after them and tried to destroy them by adopting stories and just trying to beat Snapchat into the ground. And we all know about the ongoing feud that he's had with Elon. They don't see eye to eye on a lot of things, AI being one of the more important ones, and even recently challenging Elon to hand-to-hand -to -hand combat. And it's supposedly about to happen probably in the Coliseum. But this move could do a lot of damage to Elon's finances if this app is successful because a lot of people are not happy with the way Elon is running Twitter and Facebook knows how to play the advertising game. So they just may be onto something here if they can mobilize their billions of users and people begin to adopt threads over Twitter. Elon may be in a position where he loses 40 something billion dollars through his investment in Twitter. But let's open the Instagram threads app together and let's see what it looks like. And so right here, it says you log in with Instagram. I am Corey McLean. So I'm going to log in right there, getting ready for threads. And so I can write a bio, I can add a link, or I can just import from Instagram. And so I'm just going to import from Instagram to save a little time. And then I'm going to click next and privacy on threads and Instagram can be different. So I can have things one way on threads and another way on Instagram. Instagram is public. And I think I'm going to leave things public on threads as well. What can I say? I'm a public type of fella. Follow the same accounts you uh, follow the same accounts you follow on Instagram, how it works. So how does this work? So can I follow the same accounts I follow on Instagram? Yes, you can instantly follow those with a public profile on threads or request. Can my followers on Instagram also follow me on threads? Yes. What happens if I follow or unfollow someone? You can follow and unfollow different accounts on threads and Instagram, but blocking an account means they'll be blocked from seeing you on both apps. So blocking has taken on a whole nother level. Can I change my privacy on threads? Just like on Instagram, you can change your privacy. Okay. And so I'm not going to follow anybody right now. I guess I have to. I just hit follow all and I'll wait to see if they download threads. So this is how thread works. It's powered by Instagram. Now, I do believe that it's powered by Instagram, not simply because they had the app threads two years ago. But I think it's a part of Meta's business structure in preparation for the antitrust lawsuit that they have and the FCC trying to make them sell Instagram possibly. And so they want to structure things in such a way that these are all products. And so it's, it's kind of took all of the pressure off of Facebook. And now it's spread across Meta as a technology company that builds and owns different applications. But Threads is a part of the Instagram platform. We will use Threads and Instagram information to personalize ads. Yeah. And so the next part is this, the Fediverse. So the future versions of Threads will work with the Fediverse, a new type of social media network that allows people to follow and interact with each other on different platforms like Mastodon. Hmm. So this is speaking more about, I want to say web three applications or decentralized social media where no one platform really has your login credentials and you kind of control that yourself, your data by joining threads, you agree to the meta terms and thread supplemental terms and acknowledge we have read meta privacy policy and thread supplemental privacy policy. Most of us never read that. I'm not going to read it either. I'm just going to join threads because I don't share any public information like that on social media. And you probably shouldn't either allow a schedule summary. And let's see if the ask app not to track comes up. It didn't come up, but here we are. Glad you're all here on day one. Let's build something great together. That sounds good. Um, it looks almost identical to Twitter. I like that. This is 100% what the last few days have been like. Fun times today. Celebrities, meta employee posting a funny thread. All right, friends, the apps have been published, though they will take some time to propagate. So we'll start seeing the doors open right about now. These last few days with y'all have been really something special. We're hoping this can be an open and friendly platform for conversations. The best thing you can do if you want that to is be kind. And don't forget to use hidden words restrict and the mention and reply controls. Okay. So we have a couple of controls on here. Let's take a look at them. So this is where I can see my activity replies, mentions verified. Uh, this is where I can see my profile. This is the home feed. This is how I can search. 
And then this is how I post something. This is how I can start a thread. And so let's start a thread. It's cited to be on Instagram threads. And I'm really looking to having some great conversations with you all. Exclamation mark. And I'm just going to post it. And then I can view it. And let's see if I tap on it. Okay, so if you tap on it, it doesn't zoom in like on Instagram. Who can reply? Anyone? Profiles you follow? Mention only. So you can control the comments very easily on your posts. I can hide the like count if I want, and I can unhide it. I can like my own post, and if I type to comment, I can even give it access to photos and upload photos in my replies. I can add this to my story, post it to Instagram feed, and whenever you share a thread to Instagram, this is what it looks like. So instead of people taking their tweets and then turning them into reels, I suspect that turning your threads into reels can probably become a thing. Are you guys going to join me on threads? Question mark. And so what I want you to notice is that the speech to text noticed that threads was a proper now. And I don't know if it did that because I downloaded the app or just because Instagram uh, has it programmed to recognize it. But let's go ahead and post threads. Click OK. And then I'm going to share this here. And here he is talking about it. This is a huge launch. This was a big deal. Let's listen to what Adam has to say. For public conversations. We're hoping to bring some of what we've built for photos and videos on Instagram to threads with text. Now, the idea is that there's an amazing community on Instagram and wonderful creators. We want to create a space where they can engage in public conversations that is friendly and that is open. And so we're going to bring a lot of the good tools from Instagram to threads. Things like hidden words and restrict, which allow you to shape the experience into something a little bit more friendly. Things like our community guidelines. And over time, more features around recommendations and trends. We're also working to integrate the Activity Pub protocol, which is some technology that's behind the Mastodon server and network, which is a decentralized social network. Now, you might be wondering why that matters. Well, if you're a creator, you should own your audience. And integrating into this protocol should allow us to enable you to take your followers with you to another server or app, should you so choose in the future. And we think that that would be incredibly important to offer the creator community. Now, so we're working on that and a number of other features to try to improve threads as quickly as we can. Let me know what you think down below in the comments and what features you'd like to see. There's a lot more to come really soon. Thanks so much. Well, listen, I will say this immediately right now. Their move to implement the Fediverse, to implement the technology behind Mastodon inside of threads is, it's a stroke of genius. They understand that people are already using Mastodon. But the people who are using Mastodon are Facebook and Instagram users. And instead of them spending all of their time trying to get people from TikTok, they finally realized we can't get people from TikTok, but we can get people from Twitter because Twitter has become this place where everybody kind of sees it as, uh, you know, a place where people on one side of the aisle get heard and people on the other side of the aisle feel like they, they aren't getting hurt or they're offended and they just want to leave the platform. But Mastodon had already put a chink in Twitter's armor because of their decentralization and people's ability to take their audiences with them, which is the future of social media, by the way. And so now you have this seamless experience built into your Instagram that allows you to function like you would function on Twitter, but also to take your audience with you. And they're going to be implementing more tools, like he said. And I believe that Threads is only going to get better. So I'm, I'm impressed from the very beginning. We just have to wait to see who joins it, if your favorite personalities and celebrities join, because we know that everybody has a Twitter account. All of the presidents have one. All of the first ladies have one. The biggest CEOs, the biggest content creators, the largest thinkers, the biggest voices of our time have Twitter accounts. And so the question is, is it going to take with them? But let me know in the comments, are you guys downloading threads and are you guys going to be on there? If so, Give me a follow because I am going to be using it because it's a brand new application, which means they need content to publish for everyone else on the platform to view. It's a great opportunity for you to grow your audience online and build your personal brand. I'll see you guys in the next video.